and welcome to Behavior Breaks. This resource is provided by the Arkansas Behavior Support Specialist. My name is Kat Lancaster, and I am one of the Behavior Support Specialists that serves the Northwest Arkansas Education Service Cooperative. Today, we're going to discuss a social emotional learning tool that helps us begin to explore exploration of concepts and thinking about you and me when we're using our school versus social smarts. During this behavior break, we will learn the following topics. What is thinking about you and me? Differentiate school versus social smarts. And how our social smarts helps us understand and use our social skills to show expected behaviors in the classroom. Michelle Winner Garcia, a speech language pathologist, created a social cognitive curriculum that teaches students to think about others and themselves. This book is called You Are a Social Detective. It begins teaching thinking about you and me vocabulary for students to understand these abstract concepts. We all have smarts like math, reading, writing, science, and even computer smarts for schoolwork. Social smarts is when we are around other people and use rules to interact with people. We use our social smarts like friend, play, and sports during tasks at school. The rules for friends and playing helps us learn while we are at school. Here is a general breakdown of how we think about social smarts. We have thoughts about others, which leads to others having thoughts about us. Social smarts happens everywhere when we are around people. We can even use our social smarts when we are not around people that we might be thinking about. For example, while I'm working on this presentation, I'm thinking about how my son is doing at school today. He is not with me, but I'm still using my social smarts to think about how he is feeling, if he's doing his work the first time when told, if he's asking question when he needs help, and is he having an overall good day? We begin to develop and fine tune our social smarts when we observe how others act or behave. The way we act or behave is based upon rules that guide us to interact with others in a socially acceptable way. When we follow these rules, it enables us to do the expected behaviors that make others experience safety in the classroom. Students that begin to use their social smarts regularly and successfully also develop skills like social regulation, social emotional learning of emotions, body language, tone of voice, and body posture, what these meanings of these tools in social situations might be, executive function skills for planning, sequencing, predicting, and problem solving, perspective taking skills for thinking about others' feelings, actions, and words during social interactions, and finally, social problem solving skills for solving academic and social issues that occur in the classroom. Safety in the classroom comes from the rules that we follow, such as walk in the classroom, ask for permission to use the restroom before leaving, keep items picked up off the floor. We can also promote a safe room when we think of others by taking turns with items, asking for help, giving help to others, talking to others about their needs and interests, inviting others to join our group, showing others how to do a task. When we use these rules of social smarts or skills, we use kind words and a speaking volume that can only be heard standing right next to another person or one person only speaking at a time making our comments match the topic being discussed, or handing over items to another person, just to name a few. So to wrap up what we've talked about today, 
we want to make sure that we're using specific behaviors that are observable and measurable. We want to make sure that we model how we think about our thoughts aloud. And finally, we have students practice and give positive feedback. We thank you for joining us today and taking the time to learn about social smarts and school smarts when we're thinking about you and me. Please visit our website at arbss.org for any more information or resources that you might need. Again, thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.